Well, many of us remember shocking images from this day 23 years ago. You're seeing some of those images there. Today, New York, Washington, and cities and towns across America are marking the anniversary of the 9-11 terror attacks. So many people personally experience the events that forever changed the course of history, and they continue to share their stories today. Here's ABC's Danny New with more. Let's look at the North, North Tower, Tower quickly, seems quickly. To be coming down. Understandably, most of us will never forget the sight of the Twin Towers falling on September 11th. And wouldn't you know it, we decided to hold the seminars on September 11th. But for Michael Hinkson, who is blind, he says he will always remember the way the building shook while he was holding a meeting on the North Tower 78th floor. We kind of heard a muffled thump and the building sort of shuddered. Now, in that moment, Michael and his colleagues did not know a plane had hit their tower, but he immediately called his wife, Karen, and then retrieved his loyal guide dog, Roselle, who was napping under his desk. She was guiding, and I kept encouraging her. Good dog, Roselle. What a good girl. As hundreds started to descend the stairs, one of Michael's main goals was to keep Roselle calm amidst all of the chaos. And sometimes they even teamed up to help others. For example, on the 68th floor, Michael says a woman exclaimed that she could not go on any further. We just all had a group hug there on the stairs, and Roselle gave her kisses, and she was able to keep going. And then on the 37th floor, Michael says he and Roselle were even offering comic relief. It got quiet again, and I was going, oh my gosh, somebody's going to blow it here. So I just said, hey, everybody, my name's Mike. I'm blind. I got a guide dog. Don't anyone worry. If the power and lights go out, Roselle and I are offering a half price special to get you out today only. You know, and people started laughing at that. Eventually, Michael, Roselle, and his team made it to the lobby and were safely escorted outside. We heard this rumble that quickly became this deafening roar. But in the decades since, Michael has dedicated his life to telling people around the world about that morning. He's become an acclaimed keynote speaker, and in 2011, he wrote the New York Times bestseller, Thunderdog, about how he and Roselle survived. To this day, he has still not stopped trying to help people learn about what happened and, in the midst of it all, still find that sense of calm. And for me... That became the best therapy possible. Roselle sadly passed away in 2011, but Michael continues to spread her story. In fact, he actually just released a new book a few weeks ago called Live Like a Guide Dog. I know I certainly want to be more like Roselle. In New York, for ABC News, I'm Danny New.